Hi, welcome to today's recording. Um, I'm going to do a little short video on um, developing with MicroPython on an ESP8266. And the reason I want to make this video is to outline the differences between it and using the Arduino tools. Um, I'm not going to show you Arduino. I've there's plenty of uh, videos on how and what to do there. Um, but what I did want to show is how I develop against MicroPython on an ESP8266. Now, one of the main differences um, that often doesn't get pointed out, and I think it's underutilized on the Arduino platform, is the fact that most ESP8266 modules come with flash memory and oftentimes it's 4 megabits and that is actually quite a lot in the microcontroller world. Um, what I'm going to show you is basically how I've taken advantage of that and used MicroPython as a really fun and intuitive impromptu development environment for doing microcontroller um, programming. So first thing I'm going to do is um, take my trusty uh, Wemos D1 Mini here and uh, have it it's plugged in right now to my Windows PC and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this program that I've written it's called MP File Manager and we start it up. The first thing it asks is the COM port. And I know I'm on COM7. I'm going to choose COM7. And let me move it over here where you can see it. And basically, it's a very simple, simple editor, basically, for the files or scripts that I have on my ESP8266 module right now. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few, several dozen files. Most of them end with the PY extension for MicroPython. And um, I can open up one of these files. Let me double click on it. And to the right, you'll see the code. Um, it's uh, very easy and convenient to edit the code. And if I need to make a change, all I have to do is hit the Save button. And it's automatically written back to the device and can be immediately run. Um, one of the nice things about having the flash memory disk store is that you can write data files, you can save data files, um, configuration files. It can be used for a lot of things. I've used it as um, content that's served up uh, as a web server. Um, I've written um, applications that save data into text files on the flash memory for later retrieval. Um, it's just a wonderful resource to have on a microcontroller. And I think that's kind of overlooked when we talk about the ESP8266. Now, um, one of the nice things I like about using this tool is it makes it easy to do some of the simpler things open files, edit them, and of course save them. But it will also allow you to do things such as run programs. It has a terminal mode. And let me go ahead and go into that mode. And you'll see it's opened up a MicroPython prompt. And here I can type in command That run directly in the rebel prompt. And so I can run programs directly from this program and I can immediately test my code as soon as I write it, which is really convenient. And you can even test code in the command line interactively, which is also very handy and convenient. Um, otherwise, the editor is that much special. It doesn't have very many um, special features other than 
um, the ability to back up the entire device to a directory. Um, that's one convenient utility I built for myself. But um, otherwise, it makes a pretty nice uh, little development environment for doing your microcontroller development. Um, there are other programs, but this is the one, since I wrote it, I tend to like uh, the things that it has. And um, I just wanted to show it. Alrighty. Well, if you have any questions, post them below. Um, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to answer them. Anyways, hope you enjoy uh, programming in MicroPython on your ESP8266.